Number seven ministries. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news. Hello, welcome to number seven ministries Christian outreach. Today's short sermon that is called SOS Jesus. SOS was a distress signal that was created internationally so that when people were in trouble, they would be able to easily understand this signal and easily be able to deliver it. And people of different languages and different countries would be able to recognize it. The S was created by three different dots or three different beeps, uh, quick dashes. And then the O was created by three long dashes or three long slashes. And then again, another S would be three quick dashes. And these can be delivered either by the telegraph with Morse code, or it could be delivered by a mirror, quick flashes of light with a mirror or a flashlight. Whatever they had the ability to deliver out this SOS, they would do it. And people would give out this signal because, not because everything was going good in their life, not because they're just on a carnival cruise and everything's going great. No, people would send out this SOS signal because they were in a situation that was greater than themselves. They found themselves in a circ circumstance that they may have prepared for, but they didn't have the ability to control the situation. They didn't have the ability to stop the inevitable, the destruction, the catastrophe that was awaiting them. So they would hope with all everything within them when they would send out these signals that the right person would hear the signals and they would send the proper help so that they could get delivered from that situation. Well, it is the exact same way with Christians. We will find ourselves prepared. We will find ourselves knowing how to send out that signal, and we will find ourselves needing to send out an SOS, and it has to go to Jesus. Because through time, our battleship is gonna get attacked. Through time, over ages, our, our ship is gonna get rusted, and we're gonna find leaks appearing. In, in our ship and we're gonna find people that are in our ship that God allowed they are gonna fight against us they're gonna try to take us off course they're gonna try to interfere with what God called us to do where God is sending us to to our goal that's heaven and we're going to need to know how to send out the SOS signal to Jesus knowing that if we send that signal out to anyone else we are not going to get the proper help I want to go on a few different methods of the proper way to send out the SOS signal the first Bible verse that I want to read is Mecca chapter 3 verse 4 then you beg the Lord for help in times of trouble do you really expect him to answer after all the evil you have done, he won't even look at you. The first proper way to send out the SOS signal is he has to have the desire to help you when he receives the code. In other words, you were prepared, you knew how to send out the SOS signal, and you send it out, and the person who received it did not have the desire to help you. See, the Bible says that our flesh is enemy with God. And if we try to send out an SOS signal from our flesh, the pride of life through our mastermind, our logic, our reason, our own strength, our own power, if we try to send out an SOS signal like that, God's not hearing it. We have to come to God by faith. We have to come by God through the Holy Spirit. In spirit do we worship him in truth, not in our flesh. So we need to get out of our flesh into the Holy Spirit so that God will be able and be willing and want to send us help, not through our flesh. What am I saying? There are people who will do May Day pranks in America and when they do a mayday prank it's because the mayday signal that they're sending out the distress signal it's not true they really don't want to help they're playing games they're having entertainment they're bored and so they send out this mayday signal just to get a rise out of people but what they don't realize is that when the uh, people the authorities hear the mayday signal and they send out help it costs money 
to send out the Coast Guard. It costs money, gas, to send out the helicopters. They have to pay these people to send out and go to the proper area where the May Day signal is needed. And just so you know, SOS was replaced by May Day for the International Distress Signal. But this is the thing. When someone does a false May Day or a prank, it holds a fine up to six years of prison and a $250,000 fine. In other words, the federal government is not playing around when you abuse this May Day signal. And neither is God. God knows when we're sincere, and he knows when we're playing games. In this Bible verse, in the proper context, it's referring to the false prophets who were leading God's people astray and going into all type of hedonism and uh, heathenism, and they were doing things that were abominable. And then they would cry out to God for help, and God's saying, no, you, you've been living like a heathen, you've been living like a devil, and now you want to play games with me. No, I'm looking for those that are sincere in heart to help. The next proper method of sending out a SOS signal to Jesus is he needs to be close enough to help you. He needs to be close enough to help you. And you know, the Bible does say, I will never leave you or forsake you. But the Bible does not say you will never leave him and I will never leave him and we will never forsake him. The truth is, we go astray at times. The truth is we fall into sin. The truth is we still fall short from God's glory. Even with the Holy Spirit, even being saved, even knowing the Bible, knowing the way is not always meaning that we are going to go the way. Many know the way, but few actually take the way. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13, the Lord says, these people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship of me is made up only of rules taught by men. Have you ever talked to someone in a grocery store standing in line waiting to get your groceries and you just made casual conversation and you could tell that the person that you were talking to, they didn't say anything rude to you. They didn't say anything disrespectful to you. But you could just pick up a vibe that the person really was only tolerating you because they had to, because they thought it was the proper thing to do is to say hi to you or greet you. But you could see that deep down inside, they really didn't want to talk to you. You could feel that they were judging you. They didn't like the way that you dressed, the way that you appeared. And they were really just tolerating you. And their conversation and their words that they were saying with you was not out of sincerity of heart. Well, if we can judge that and we can tell when that takes place, how much more can God tell when we're doing the same thing to him? See, our heart needs to be close to God. When our heart is close to God and then when we cry out for distress, it won't be a false alarm. It'll be true. It'll be out of sincerity, and God knows how to judge our heart when we're really true. And don't get beside yourself and be puffed up in pride into thinking because you're a spiritual giant. You don't need church. You don't need the Bible. You don't need any help. That's not true. And humble yourself and realize that when you do cry out for help and God sends it to you, you need to be humble enough to receive the help that it comes, that God sends. He chooses. God might not send... A, a carnival cruise ship to help you out. No, he might send a little rusty old uh, boat with paddles on it. And it might be dirty and smelly and stinky with dead fish in it. But God's saying that is your only chance. That is your only outlet. This is how I'm going to help you. And don't despise by the way God is going to choose to help you and who God is going to send into your life to help you. The next proper method to send an SOS signal is the proper person needs to hear the code. If you send out the wrong, the, the right signal at the right time, but the wrong person hears it, it's not going to do you any good. Or if they don't know how to interpret it. See, the people need to be trained ahead of time how to receive a Morse code. 
Matthew chapter 20, verse 30, two blind men were sitting beside the road, and when they heard Jesus was coming that way, they began shouting, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Matthew chapter 20, verse 31, the crowd sternly told them, be quiet, but they cried out all the more, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Do you see that these men, even though they were told to be quiet, they cried out even more, even louder. Have you ever been in church and people told you to stop praising God or to calm down with that? Or in your walk and just every day when you go to work, people say, oh, you talk too much about Jesus. You talk too much about the Bible. You take your faith to extreme. You take it too far. Well, I'm going to tell you it's not possible to take your faith to too extreme until you start walking on water. Until you start raising the dead, you are not taking your faith to extreme. And you are not talking about Jesus too much until you start doing those things. Once you start doing those things, then maybe we can say, oh, you take your faith too far. Because I'm going to tell you, when you walk with God, there he's going to cause you that when your ship sinks, when your ship sinks, it won't matter. When all the people on your ship forsake you and leave you and you're abandoned, and you're staying down with that ship, when you're walking with Jesus, he will cause you to walk on water. He will cause you to overcome the impossible. People will tell you that it is impossible for this to happen, but wait for God to tell you that it's possible for it to happen. The next or the last uh, method of sending out the proper SOS signal is he has to give proper instructions. Luke chapter 9, verse 22, the son of man suffering many terrible things. He said he will be rejected by the elders and the leading priests and the teachers of religious law. He will be killed, but on the third day he will raise, be raised from the dead. Luke chapter 20, uh, 9, verse 23, then he said to the crowd, if any of you wants to be my follower, you must Turn from your selfish ways, take up your cross daily, and follow me. Take up your cross daily and follow Jesus Christ. Those are the instructions of how to send out the proper SOS signal. And if you do that, you can't go wrong. God bless you and have a wonderful day.